Garmin devices can do great things to help you manage your flights, but you'll need to keep the databases updated to ensure that you're operating with current information and to ensure that you meet regulatory requirements. While all of the databases contribute to situational awareness and management of flight, a current navigation database is required for conducting instrument flight rules operations. This two-part video series is intended to help you with the database update process, and we urge you to review this material in its entirety prior to conducting your first updates. Note that while we will be referring to the most recent version of the G5000 throughout this video, all procedures apply to the most recent G3000 systems as well. In this first video in the series, we'll explore obtaining your databases from flygarmin.com. For this video, we'll assume that you have an account established already, and that your aircraft is reflected in your account. We'll also assume that you have Fly Garmin for Windows installed on your computer. If not, be sure to download this program from flygarmin.com and install it on your computer. Videos located on the homepage of Fly Garmin will help you become familiar with the Fly Garmin site and provide guidance for installing Fly Garmin for Windows. In the second video, we'll demonstrate the procedure for installing databases using an SD card. Database management starts at the Fly Garmin homepage, where you will find the Garmin account sign in section. Use your credentials to sign in to your account. Now, select the Devices tab to take you to the page where you will see a list of aircraft by tail number or other descriptor that you provided when setting up the aircraft in either Garmin Pilot or on Fly Garmin. Then, select the device associated with the aircraft that you wish to update. Next, you'll see a list of databases that are available for installing or updating. On new aircraft, you may see Not Installed on the database lines. This occurs because the installed databases on new airplanes were factory installed, and the Fly Garmin site is not aware of that installation. If you need to purchase databases, select Buy Databases, and you will go to the page where you can make database purchase selections. Step 1 here is to select the device you want databases for, followed by selecting the region for your databases. Then you can choose from Bundles, Annual Subscriptions, and single updates. A video located on the Fly Garmin homepage provides an in-depth explanation of this process. Once you make these selections and complete the purchase process, return to the Device Details page. Now, select Install Databases. Select Update Expired Databases. Select the region for the IFR VFR charts, and you will see a list of databases. Under Selected for Update, place a check mark next to all of the available selections desired. At the bottom of the list, you may find a checkbox for Jeppesen Charts. While these can be downloaded through Fly Garmin, you will need to have a Jeppesen account and purchase the charts through them before they can be accessed here. For assistance with setting up a Jeppesen account and purchasing charts, email captain at jeppesen.com. With your desired databases chosen, select Launch Fly Garmin Desktop to begin the download process. As you can see, the Fly Garmin Desktop application will open automatically. Select the Continue button, accept the license agreement, insert your SD card into your SD Reader device and select Continue to begin the process. A window then appears that shows the download in process. Note, your Garmin training team recommends that you use SanDisk brand Class 10 SD cards for this process, as they are considerably faster when saving and transferring files. The maximum allowed SD card size is 32 GB. When the download is complete, the SD card is ready to be taken to your aircraft to conduct the database update. But before you head to your aircraft, view the second video in the series to see a demonstration of the SD card database update process.